I saw this rather than curve, but I am teaching you dynamic summation and dynamic summation reciprocating part. This is a 5 cylinder inline engine running at 1500 rpm. That is n is given, they have given the n here. So write n. n is equal to 500 rpm. And successive crank is 144 apart. Okay, 144 apart they have given it. The distance between the center line is 300 mm. Okay, the distance between the center line will be 300 mm. This is the center line. These are five cylinders here. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The distance between them is the, these are nothing but 300 in terms of meter. It will be 0 0.30 meter. 0 0.30 meter. 0 0.30 meter. 0. 30 meter the piston stroke okay r is given there stroke divided by 2 you have to do you will get uh, r that is crank you will get 240 divided by 2 it is nothing but 120 mm in terms of meter 0 0.12 meter and uh, cr is given that is l the argument l is nothing but 4 80 mm in terms of meter it will be 0 0.48 meter and n dash is nothing but l by r where l is nothing but 0 0.48 divided by r r is nothing but 0 0.12 the answer will be 4 the weight they have given it weight 150 newton they have given can find out omega omega is equal to 2 pi n divided by 60 2 into pi into n is nothing but 500 divided by 60 you will get the answer 52.35 radian per second now they have said that 144 apart this part plays an important role in solving the power I will take a circle of um, unknown radius then I will consider this is a crank or oh, sorry this is a one or a line or a plane this is one now I will measure with the help of protector this will be 144 this is my 2 next from here here for 3 this will be 144 for 3 for 3 uh, 3 to 4 144 now 4 to 5 Assume it in this way, it is 140. We have divided everything in terms of 145. Now, this is nothing but your stroke line. That is, stroke line is nothing but 1, 4, 2, 5, and 3. This is the stroke line. Now, again, I am drawing it same diagram, but now I am dividing everything. Now, this is the 1 here. So this is 2, this is 4, this is 5, this is 3. Now this is 1, 4, 2, 5 and 3. Now if you measure distance between these two is 72. Now distance between these two is nothing but 72. The distance between these two is nothing but 72. This two is 72. This is at 72. In order to obtain this uh, line stroke line they are given this part 144 apart they have said 144 draw it 144 144 144 you will obtain the a line here a sequence of line you will obtain that is required in order to calculate now if you measure distance in between these two these two these two these two it becomes 72 the half of the problem is over now here next is construct the table go for the planes one 2, 3, 4 and 5. The distance. Okay, I will consider this as a reference plane. 3 as a reference plane. If you measure and if you if you measure this side, it should be taken as a negative. If you measure this side, it should be taken as positive. From 3 to 1, it will be minus 0 0.60 meter. Here, the distance between here to here is 0 0.60 meter. Now, distance from 2 to 3 to 1 sorry 
थ्री टू टू इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो मीटर डिस्टेंस ऑफ थ्री जीरो नेक्स्ट थ्री टू फोर जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो मीटर फ्रॉम डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम दिस टू फाइव जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो मीटर बिकॉज ऑलरेडी गिवन थ्री हंड्रेड अपार्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ मीटर इट विल बिकम जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो मीटर नाउ थीटा एंगल नाउ थीटा एंगल दिस इज वन इज अथिंग बट जीरो नाउ फॉर वन टू टू नाउ वन टू सॉरी इज दिस फॉर वन टू टू इट इज वन फोर्टी फोर सेवेंटी टू प्लस सेवेंटी टू वन फोर्टी फोर नेक्स्ट वन टू थ्री सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटी टू इट इज टू एटी एट नेक्स्ट वन टू फोर वन टू फोर सेवेंटी टू वन टू फाइव वन टू फाइव टू वन सिक्स डबल एट आउट जीरो टू एट एट फाइव सेवेंटी सिक्स वन फोर्टी फोर फोर थर्टी टू Now, use the formulas. We are going to solve the problem. This is the list of the formulas I am going to use for solving the problem. First, I will find out the primary force. Primary force, I will find out. Primary force. That is F P V is equal to summation of V capital M omega square R cos theta. M omega square R taken as common summation cos theta. Now M omega square R. Now cos cos theta is nothing but zero plus cos 144 plus cos 288 cos 72 cos 216. If you calculate this entire term becomes zero. Next for horizontal P. H summation of m omega square r sin theta. Again same m omega square r sin theta and m omega square r sin zero. Just you have to replace the constant in terms of sine. Sine 144 plus sine 288 plus sine 72 plus sine 216 this also becomes zero the primary forces are completely balanced the primary forces are completely balanced completely balanced now i will go for secondary force secondary couple now i will use this formula that is only a you have to consider it everything is same here primary couple This is the formula I am using for primary couple. Now M P V is equal to summation of M omega square R A cos theta. We'll bring M outside, omega outside R because M is common for both. And A A is nothing but minus zero point six zero cos zero minus zero point three zero cos one forty four plus Zero cos two eighty eight. This becomes zero only. Plus zero point three zero cos seventy two. Plus zero point six zero cos two one six. If you calculate, the answer will be M V P is equal to M omega square R minus zero point seven five. Zero point seven five. Next, I will go for vertical, horizontal, in terms of sine r a sine theta. I'll just replace this uh, cos term with the help of sine term. Minus 0.60 sine 0 minus 0.30 sine 144, and this will be 0 sine 288 0 plus 0.30 sine 72. Plus 0.60 sine 216. 216. If you calculate, the value we'll obtain here is m omega square r 
माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू फोर थ्री सिक्स टू फोर थ्री सिक्स नाउ यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ दिस वन फाइंड आउट द रिजल्टेंट आई एम फाइंडिंग द रिजल्ट आउट ऑफ दिस वन फाइंड द रिजल्टेंट रिजल्टेंट इज नथिंग बट कॉल एज एम पी It is a primary force. Resultant m omega square r. I will consider common root m v square plus m p h square. M omega square r root 0.75 whole square plus 0.243 whole square. Now what is m? They are not given m. They have given w, 150 newton. What is m? W w is nothing but m into g. Where m is nothing but w by g. M is nothing but w by g. What is w? 150 divided by 9.81 into omega values. They have given as omega value. Omega value is 52.52.35. Into r. R is the Here, in terms of stroke, they are given at 0.12 into this value, 75 whole square plus 0.2436 whole square. The obtained answer will be obtained answer will be 3965.30 newton meter. Newton meter. Now. Here you can write that the piston of the crank center or center crank or crank center is 90 from the line of cylinder. Now secondary forces. Secondary force. Formula for secondary force. This is the formula I'm using. Secondary force. F S V summation of M omega square R divided by N dash cos two theta M omega square R divided by N dash summation cos two theta. Now further M omega square R N dash cos two theta table refer the table. Now in place of uh, Uh, two theta. You have to substitute these values. These values you have to. Substitute. I will write in this way. Cos zero plus cos two eighty eight plus cos five seventy six plus cos one forty four plus cos four thirty two. In place of two theta, you have to write these values. And this entire thing will be zero here again. Next, F S H. This is secondary force. Summation of M omega square R divided by N dash in terms of sine theta, sine two theta, sine two theta. So omega M omega square R divided by N dash. Summation of sine two theta. In place of cos, you have to replace with the sine. M omega square R divided by N dash. Sine zero. Plus sine 288 plus sine 288 sine 576 plus sine 144 plus sine 432. This entire thing becomes zero. The secondary forces are completely balanced. Secondary forces are completely balanced. Completely balanced. The last is secondary couple. I'm going to find out secondary couple. Secondary couple. Formula M S V is equal to summation of M omega square R n dash A cos two theta. You have to add only A terms here. 
Now yeah. M outside omega R R N. Now what is K? Table they refer the table. These are the A minus 0 0.60 cos 0. This is the two data you have to refer it out. This we have to refer it. Plus, sorry, minus 0 0.30 cos 288 0 plus 0 cos 576 this will be 0 here plus 0 0.30 cos 144 plus 0 0.60 cos 432 432 if you calculate if you calculate the answer will be m omega square r n dash n dash minus 0 0.75 similarly sv h summation of m omega square r n dash a sin 2 theta you have to do it in place of cos you have to replace with the sine term then what happened just you have to replace with the in place of cos you have to replace with the sine term okay we replace it to omega square r divided by dash 0 0.60 sin 0 minus 0 0.30 sin 288 plus 0 sin 576 plus 0 0.30 sin 144 plus 0 0.60 sin 432 432 to calculate if you calculate the answer will be The answer will be m omega square r n dash 1.0322. You have to find the resultant m omega square r n dash minus 0 0.75 whole square plus 1.032 whole square. M is nothing but 150 divided by 9.81 W by G capital W by G and 52.52.35 R will be 0 0.12 root 1.075 whole square plus 1.032 whole square the answer obtained is MSC is 160 3.76 Newton meter. Here, 2 theta will be 90 degree, therefore, theta will be 45 degree. I am Satosh Gaidankar. Thank you very much.